Hey, well, I'm back. It's been a tough day on the campaign trail, and I do want to make it, you know, get something across to the folks in Wyoming, of Wyoming here, that uh, it's difficult to understand how pension smoothing to pay for our highways is a good thing for the United States and and this explains one reason why I think Mike Enzi, a great our great senator is suffering from what I call presenteeism and that's you've been at the job so long that eventually you kind of forget what's right and wrong I mean because really you're fairly well insulated and let me explain uh, so Mike before he passed the highway funding bill out of his committee, uh, came up with a brilliant plan for pension smoothing in order to get the funds for the highways. And it's $13 billion. That's a lot of money. Uh, <clears throat> so rather than raise the gas tax five cents, which raises basically exactly $13 billion, uh, we've decided that we're going to allow private corporations to not pay their pension obligations. This is where pension smoothing is weird. So when they don't pay their pension obligations, which in order to raise $13 billion is going to be quite a bit, uh, they end up retaining that money and have to show it as a profit. And therefore they're going to be taxed on that profit and that's where the money comes from. But as we'll see, it's just the reality of the situation is much different. Number one, fooling with private pensions, that's everybody's paycheck in the end. You are potentially putting a devastating debt on American taxpayer by putting private pensions in jeopardy, not funding them properly. That's number one. Number two, we better take a break. <laughs> 